So the way that our curriculum works, um, anatomy and pathology and physiology are kind of integrated by organ system. So we really have one large course over the 12 weeks and we've used ultrasound to kind of explore different parts um, of those things. So we've used it with anatomy to examine kind of like the, the rotator cuff and look at the different muscles and tendons there in people. And then also as they move, to move the probe with them to follow a tendon as it moves or to see the muscles um, pull on the arm. So that's been good to kind of understand not only which muscles are in the rotator cuff, but also how do they move to execute arm movements. Um, and seeing it in real time on the ultrasound is not really something you can imagine or get anywhere else. I guess the things that have been, I think, most beneficial are the speed that you can get the images with, and then also the safety to the patient. Um, so I did a research project last summer um, about deep vein thrombosis and pulmonary embolism in pregnant women. And a big issue with them is that um, radiation exposure to the fetus is not really well studied in humans for obvious reasons. Um, so many people are afraid to use traditional imaging methods with pregnant women for fear of damaging the fetus and never knowing um, if they cause damage or not. Um, so that can be a very scary thing for pregnant women. So for them at least, ultrasound can be a really safe um, because it doesn't involve radiation imaging modality to begin the assessment of whether or not they had a deep vein thrombosis that led to a pulmonary embolism.